Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. here. It's something only I can do. Okay, let's go! But you are not alone. Link. You are our final hope. What is happening, Internet? Welcome back to K-Wings Let's Plays and more Legend of Zelda. And you guys are crushing it with the likes. Uh, everything is behind today by a lot. And also the Nintendo Switch that I was going to use to download Brittany Luna's game is dead. So when Amber comes down, she's going to have to put this on the charger upstairs. And uh, then we'll have to retrieve it a half hour into the stream so we can download the Spyro game for Brittany. Everything is just not working out well today at all. Um, right. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. We're going to be going after the Barbarian Armor today. And uh, probably doing some shrines and some other stuff. Oh yeah, Lorray. Today is, today is a pretty bad day. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. More or less. Where is the Barbarian set? I'm going to show you where it is, Isaac. We're going to be collecting it today. What? I'm going to be, sh I'm going to be showing you how to get it. Ah! I quit. I just... Oh, gosh. Oh. All right. So anyway, guys, uh, your first like goes 100 likes. Let's get to that. And we're going to go after the first armor. Oh, man. What is Britney's game? It's a Spyro game on Nintendo Switch. All right, sweetheart, I'm going to need you to take this upstairs and put it on our charger. Here you go. This has to go on our Nintendo Switch charger upstairs. It's completely out of batteries. And then in 30 minutes, it'll have to be uh, brought back down. So we can download Britney's game. Here you go, sweet pea. Are your hands dry? More or less? Thank you. Okay, and make sure it's charging upstairs. It'll have a little charging light when you um, put it on the cradle. You know how to put it away. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, so we are going to Central Hyrule. <laughs> Central Hyrule. Uh, over, I think here, actually, is where we're going. The Carnal, Cranal Hills, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's in this area. Um... Actually, I think this is it right here. The 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 marker from um, yeah, this is it. I don't know if we have an, a, a barbarian set or not yet. I don't think so, but it's in a cave. It's not as difficult to get as um, some of the other ones. So there's that. So, oh my gosh, everything's just not. Oh my gosh. Nothing is going well today. 
Nothing. Okay. First location. Okay, I'm not sure what armor piece this is, but here in the uh, hills area, Crenal Cren Hills, whatever, near Romney Plains, is going to be your first set of barbarian armor. So, we're just going to teleport because I'm wicked lazy. Zelda, you got fed you. Am I playing Starfield in September? Yes, I've already said this. We're doing Starfield, the story on the O1 channel. Free roaming, farming, flying ships, making a crew, exploring planets will be done as streams on this channel. So the story, which is the m portion of the game, which is going to be pretty bad, uh, will be over on the O1 channel nightly. And then fun exploration random streams will be on this channel. And you have to watch both in a cross-platform thing in order to get the full game experience. Because I will not be exploring and free roaming on the O1 channel. Strictly story. So free roaming will only be on the Let's Play channel. And Amber, like, doing things with plants and befriending aliens and all that other stuff. That'll only be found on this channel. Why would you assume I'd be the one doing things with plants? Because, as I remember correctly, when I was explaining the game to you, you said things like, Oh my gosh, I want to have a garden, or I want to pet a like weird alien dinosaur. Can I have an alien pet? Can I design my spaceship? Can, what can I do with my spaceship? It's like, yes, you can design all this stuff. And you're like, ooh. So yeah, that's... yeah. Amber's reaction is why we're doing that. All right. Yay. Okay, uh, my barbarian armor. You know, the armor of the wild wasn't that difficult to get. Cuz it was it was all uh it was all pretty easy to find. Yeah. Compared to of course the armor of the wild in uh well, Breath of the Wild. Thank you for the 65 likes everyone. Yeah, you guys are doing great with the 65 likes. Keep it up. So in about a half hour to 40 minutes, um, I'll need to, the other switch retrieved so I can download the game. Yeah. Yeah. So let's make, then I'll throw together a quick thumbnail and all this other stuff. I have no idea what this is. This might actually be it. This might actually be where it is. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be something if this is actually the, the, the armor? Let's see. Is it inside the skull thing? Nope. Okay, it's not inside the skull. We're looking for a cave. We don't we don't want this. This is a this is a fun treasure though, inside this little skull cave. This is not it. So we're looking for a cave entrance. Like an actual cave, not like a little skull hideout. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little jumpy. It's okay. Today has been weird. Well you had over a thousand views, so I did. I don't know why they took it away, but... Well, they took it away around... I'll tell you after this one. Fine, I'm gonna mute real quick. Hang on, guys. I need to talk to Amber real quick. All right, we're back. Sorry guys, sometimes I like to talk to my wife all private-like, because she's cute. Okay, so, this is our, uh, even though we're live, sometimes not all of our life is live. <laughs> uh, also, I'm annoyed by the fireworks, because they're loud. Okay, uh, this is the cave we need to go in. Uh, cave, car, crenel, crenel, cave. Uh. Good job, guys. You're almost at 70 likes already. You're doing fantastic. And everything is loud. La, 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 la. Oh. This might actually be pretty straightforward. Now, I never really liked the barbarian armor, but we don't have that many armor sets left to get, so... There's that. I like talking to you, too. I like talking to you, too. 
Okay, so when in doubt, follow the arrows leading you to... Uh-oh. Oh, man, we have to fight a Talos. Ugh. I really don't want to fight a Talos right now. Do I have any armor fish? Do I have any armor fish? No. No, I don't. Well... Uh, hmm. You know what? Skip the armor. We're gonna make some mighty stuff. We're gonna go OP. We're gonna increase our attack stats because I just don't want to bother with this stupid Talos thing. So. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. I just was watching. Mm -hmm. Chef John's has a different recipe for noodle salad. Okay. He said the regular de deli noodle salad, instead of just putting everything, all the vegetables in, and then adding mayo, mm -hmm. he adds mayo, Dijon mustard, a little bit of sugar, salt and pepper, and a little bit of white vinegar. Mm. And cayenne pepper, but you don't want to put cayenne pepper. But he puts that all together and whisks it together, and it's supposed to be better than just mayo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, I will try that. No, you're fine. All right, so we got some attack bonus. Let's make our sword a little stronger. Not a lot stronger, a little stronger. I don't want to be too crazy up in there. And what do I got? I got this. That thing's lame. I don't care about that. Seven. Bright-eyed frog. Mm -hmm. What is this? It's 31. 28. 34. That's fine. I love this scythe thingy. These things are really easy to find for Stalfos and stuff. Alright, Master Sword upgraded. Boom. Alright, here we go, gang. We're gonna fight a Talos. Seriously? I thought this was a Talos! I was gonna say, if you did not transform, I was gonna be super miffed at you. After making me think that you're gonna transform, and then you don't transform, it's just like... Stop that nonsense! There you go, he's dead now. See, that's why strength potion is good. I mean, strength fish. I mean, you know what? Whatever. Goodbye, fool. I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing by not having hot dogs on 4th of July. Ooh, we're committing some type of cardinal sin for the 4th of July. Does it really matter what you eat? The most important thing is that you're together and you have fun. That's how you celebrate your independence, you know? No political discussions, though. We're just going to hang out and stream something. I don't know. I don't even know what to stream. We've already done the Avengers game. Uh, what care? <laughs> Mario is red, white, and blue. <laughs> Hello! It's Mario celebrating America's independence. Actually, doesn't he have a red, yeah. white? He has a red, white, and blue um. Yeah, he does. outfit in Smash Brothers. I have no idea what we're going to stream. I don't even know. I don't really I don't think, think it you matters. need to stream anything special. I mean, I'm probably just going to stream our normal stuff. Maybe have like a red, white, and blue thumbnail or something. I don't know. It was really fun that one time that I played through Captain America for like six hours. But at the same time, like, <laughs> I don't really want to do that again. Uh... Yeah. Uh, let's see. We could play the Oregon Trail for independence. No, I don't want to do Oregon Trail. That takes no. place in the United States. No, I don't want to do that. No. Uh, nope, 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 Ooh, nope, nope. Maybe we could play that Native American game on PC. Oh, the one where you scalp people? No. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Oh, Assassin's Creed um, 3 is American yeah. Revolution, but we're not at a good part in the game to, like, you'd be starting at the beginning. Yeah. If you could run through, I remember how devastated I was, like, they, they built up the American Revolution and they showed all this cool stuff that Connor could do and you literally just run through one of the battles. It's like, you don't even really get to do anything, it's, it's almost like a quick time event or something like that. I was devastated. Yeah, they didn't really have much all the actual battles. Anymore. Yeah, no. If I had a good save file, like, I would totally do that. That would be interesting. Because I don't believe there's any F-bombs in that game. Mm. I don't think so. I think it was just, it was rated M for, like, violence. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. 
I don't know, I'm contemplating it because I, I do love that game. I just don't... The thing that I don't like about that game is they remove the, um... Uh... What do they call it? They they removed the ability to navigate the, the um... The buildings and stuff. They, you had trees and things like oh, that. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Super Mario World again. Yeah. Alright guys, so here's the first piece of barbarian armor. Let's see what we got. It's going to be... The top! The top of the barbarian armor. Super Mario World. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I just saw some lady put eggs in macaroni salad. Uh, I don't think I would enjoy that. No. Barbarian chest armor. Alright, let's read this. Armor once favored by the ancient uh, warlike tribe from the Farron region. The war paint bolsters your fighting spirit. Does that say... Does that say boosters? Boast... What is that? Boasters. Yeah, whatever. Your fighting spirit and raises your attack power. So it's another attack armor. Hooray! There we go, guys. That's the first location of the... Um, barbarian armor. So if you remember... The barbarian armor before, you had to go through and complete Amber's favorite labyrinths. Oh. Um, now... <laughs> now it's just hidden inside some caves. Uh, Alright, up we go. Up, up, and away! You hear fireworks? Yep. They're shooting off fireworks. I think last weekend was a test when they were doing the fireworks. Now it's... The town we live in, they never do anything on the 4th of July. They always do stuff the weekend before the official 4th of July. Yeah, or sometimes a week and a half. Sometimes a week and a half before or a week after. It's like, I don't know why they do that. Um, and, and the area that we live in is considered like a very conservative area. But they just don't... Mm, they never celebrate any of the holidays like exactly when they're supposed to. It's always the weekend before. Yeah, it's a very patriotic area, but yeah, like everyone's always like USA and everything, but they're not even celebrating. They're not. 4th yeah, of July. the Fourth of July, you can just walk walk the streets and there's like nobody there. There's no parades either. I don't think. I don't even think they do the parade on the Fourth of July. I think they do it on July third. Uh, anyway. Let's go to our next destination. So our next place is going to take us... If I remember correctly... It's over in the cliffs of... What is the name of the place again? Mount... Not Mount Lanaru. It's... It's the weird... Oh gosh. I might be lost. Uh... I'm looking... I'm cheating. I'm looking at my map. Because mm, I... I didn't have time to pin it in the game. I'm sorry. Oh, um, no, no, you're fine. Oh, I can um, nope. help you. Okay, help. see this thing that looks like a Star Trek Yep, so it's going to be right there. It, no, no, it's you use this for reference, and then it's... It's uh, going to be on that brown spot. I don't think it's a brown spot. It might... Well, maybe it is a brown spot. <laughs> Do we really just call it the brown spot? Fine. All right, so it's in Zelda's the brown like, spot, guys. Zelda's like, what brown spot? I didn't do anything. You better, you better not have added a new brown spot, Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> if you added a new brown spot, you're going to make today even worse. Okay, so here near the Star Trek thing, or Klingon bird of prey, whatever you want to call this thing. It's I don't know. Pointing towards the brown it spot. It looks like a Star Trek badge, kind of, yeah, especially from really far away. I don't know. So it it's does. it's in the Mount Lanaru region, so it's here. Bloop, bloop. Near this thing. The brown spot. Near the brown spot, as Amber calls it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, right, we're going to teleport. You know what? We're going to do a bird's eye view. because Why not? Here's the second location. I just had a great idea. Uh, what if people added corn to their macaroni salad? No. Why? No. I think it would be good. No. Why not? I don't know. You're clipping the brown spot? I mean, it, it might make it in a highlight reel, but it won't make it as a YouTube short because, as you guys have seen with YouTube shorts, you have to have action going. If it's just Amber and I here doing something, 
There needs to be something happening with, you know, either air anime characters or nobody watches a short. Case in point, the short that I actually did take some time editing in the wee hours of the morning today, uh, which made me even crankier because I didn't get that much sleep, I think it hasn't even hit a thousand views yet. I don't even think so. I think... Where is it? It's a Saturday short, and it is at 880, 899 views. So it's still short of a thousand, and it was uploaded at 8 a.m. So it's over 12 hours ago, um, and still nothing. It's like, pfft. so yeah. Today's just kind of meh. Tomorrow's gonna be an injustice short, though. It has action because Amber picked out some good injustice shorts, so. We're gonna do that. Anyway, let's continue on looking for uh, some stuff. And uh, tomorrow's stream so far, guys and gals, are going to be... You've got uh, Ghost Trick, Final Fantasy, Zelda, and Drago stream. Drago's Final... F Fire Emblem. Yeah. Drago stream. Ah. <sighs> So Drago and Amber get a nap in. <laughs> tonight? Oh, Not tomorrow. tonight, tomorrow! No more going to take naps. Unless you're going to nap on Britney's stream. What Fire Emblem game? Whatever one Amber was playing last time that Drago had her do, I don't know. Fire Emblem... The one with Ike. The one we with like Ike. Ike. We like Ike. You have any last words, Indiana? Yeah, I like Ike. <laughs> I watched the Crystal Skull last night. It wasn't as bad as I remembered it. There were some really bad parts, like Shia LaBeouf. Mostly all Shia LaBeouf. Um, um. But the swinging on trees with the monkeys was still one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in cinema, and it served no purpose. Just like, let's make Shia LaBeouf Tarzan. For I reasons. Guess, yeah, my personal opinion is like the... Like, if it was a cool, like, historical artifact he was searching for... That would be more interesting to me, but the crystal skulls, no offense, are kind of like a lame thing. Because mm -hmm. only people that haven't really researched that that much are interested in Like, if you actually do any amount of Google research for more than five seconds on crystal skulls, you'll find that some people think they're from an alien race, but geologists say that they're actually people who got buried, and their skull left an impression in the ground and then crystals filled it. Mm. So in reality, it's just a natural yeah. phenomenon that occurs. Hey there, we meet again. My search for the elusive bubble frog continues. I heard there was a cave that housed a bubble frog in this area, but all of my searching has come to naught. Perhaps someone else has caused the beast to move on, leaving me to grapple with the greatest foe yet. Free time, I've got it. While you are here, why don't we regate, regale you with tales of numerous cave creatures I've matched metal with. You are an adventurer, are you not? I'm certain you'll find stories educational. Here's one. Have you heard of the beast known as the Horriblin? There are a uh, recently discovered monster making their nefarious layers in caves across this land. Ah. Of particular note is their distinctive hammer-shaped horn. Horriblins come in a variety of colors, each of their own horn shape. The horns of stronger varieties tend to be larger and tougher. Perhaps there's some way to put those horns to use. I should use... Uh, should you ever find yourself face to face with one of those wretched things, be sure to observe it carefully. Uh, if my tales aid you in any way, I'll be glad for it. Well then, fellow traveler, let us hope our paths will cross again. I always thought it was going to be a Yiga guy, but... Mm, if they really wanted to do something cool, I would have. If they wanted to do something cool that cannot be explained, that has mystical powers, mm. I would have gone with the Gate of the Sun in Peru. There's this huge door that people say has like flashes of light, and they believe it's a gate to another world. It's been there for like thousands of years, and it's carved out of stone, and like people say aliens there or whatever. But it's been, like, worshipped and stuff by people there in Peru forever. Like, that would be interesting. Do you want to know but the crystal what, skull's lame. what everybody is regretting with Indiana Jones' last movie? Is that they did the Phoebe person instead of Short Round. Because the actor who played Short Round won a um, Academy Award last year. 
And he's like a really big upcoming actor and would have had a much bigger draw yeah, than Phoebe. He could have been and, and I would have watched the movie of Short Round was mm -hmm. in it. And people were um like really uh mad for Crystal Skull for not bringing back um Short Round and introducing yeah, Indy's son. Like they're literally it's like if Indy really cared about that kid He adopted why, the kid. Then why wouldn't he be in future movies? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's just lame. There's so many other artifacts that would have been better than the Crystal Skull. Like, I would have done the Spear of Destiny. They never did that for Indiana Jones. That would have been a number one thing. It's a hugely historic... Like, Indiana Jones has to do with he's a archaeology and history professor. So why would an archaeology professor be running after a skull made out of crystals? It doesn't make any sense. He was I just trying to keep it out of the Russians' hands. That was it. Uh, but who cares? It's not even. It doesn't have any mystical powers. It's yes, just... it did. It it had the ability to do mind control, and the Russians were going to use it to program people's minds while they but slept. But it can't do mind control. In the movie, it can. That's stupid, though. I know. That's one of the. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's, it wasn't. It wasn't as I'm... cool of an object what? as like the Ark of the Covenant. But there's or... no history between. With the crystal skulls. A lot of people skulls. said that they should have. The fourth movie should have either been about Atlantis. Yeah. It should have been about the Emperor's Tomb, which would have brought back Short Round. Um, or it should have been about uh, one of the other yeah. indie books. They should have done something to do with China and brought uh, mm -hmm. brought Short Round into it because they could have done something with the. The Terracotta Warriors, they could have done something with... Well, they couldn't do something with the Terracotta Warriors because the mummy beat them to it. <sighs> well, I mean, anyone... I mean, they're, those are famous. It doesn't matter, anyone though. Anyone couldn't use that. The mummy, the mummy beat them to it. Why would, why would it matter? Because the mummy was the new Indiana Jones here, movie. Here's why the Crystal Skull didn't find... The treasure sleeps beyond the path shown by the stone statues. All right, let me explain. In the first Indiana Jones movie, which was the best, mm -hmm. um, they showed in the very beginning to hype up the Ark of the Covenant, they showed the the accounts of the Ark of the Covenant and showed people like being afflicted by the plagues from the Ark when you know it wasn't dealt with correctly. People getting sick, other armies um, becoming, like, you know, like, inflicted with plagues. And also, like, rays of light going out from the Ark of the Covenant, like, you know, possibly killing people and stuff. So, already, before you even look for the Ark, you're already kind of freaked out by it. So, you kind of have this fear and stuff like that. But that's, but that's actually based on actual historical accounts. Of the Ark of the Covenant and the things that the Ark of the Covenant was said to do in history. But the Crystal Skull, they just made it up. There's no account, there's no accounts of history of a Crystal Skull having mind control. You show me any civilization that's told, that said that a Crystal Skull can do mind control. There is none. So it should be based on an actual artifact. That's why the Dial of Destiny is lame because there is no actual people in the world that have had any kind of dial of destiny it's made up artifact the like i don't know where i heard it but there's this quote that basically says the best stories have some truth in them so it's you know indiana jones movies are based on things that are true that they take free liberties so they should have done an actual thing like an actual thing that was said to have mystical powers in history. Uh, I can't think of that many things that have mystical powers in history because I don't know that much about history. I know the Spear of Destiny is said to have mystical powers. Oh, the Spear of Destiny was actually uh, an indie book, I believe. Um, uh oh. And I, I'm sure if a quick Google search for more than five minutes, Kathleen Kennedy could have found at least 500 other artifacts that have said you have to make an Indiana Jones movie about something that actually has historical accounts of having mystical powers. I'm actually surprised that Harrison Ford even did the movie without Steven Spielberg. Like, 
The only reason he yeah, came back know. to do the 2008 movie is because it was Steven Spielberg. Maybe he just needed more money, I don't know. It's possible, I mean, he's been doing but remakes of his characters, what? or continuation of his characters for like, like 10 years like now. Like you said though, what some of the stuff that they could have used is either they could have gone to China, mm -hmm. I mean there's so many things, they could have used an Egyptian artifact. They could have even they gone used... to Vietnam. Yeah. Because the movie takes place in like 1969, like they could have gone to uh, yeah. Asia or some of that other stuff. They could have gone anywhere in South America because there's tons of Aztec and Inca Dang, dude. artifacts they could have used. Um, like there, just think of any civilization that has, um, you know, mystical artifacts uh. and just go there. They could have gone to. Um, there's a lot of places they could have gone to. Just, Do we have any? They just decided to not. They decided to not put any effort into researching anything and write us a lame story about something that doesn't even exist. It's stupid. Anyways, I'm sorry. It just annoys me that you know people have the potential to make a great story, but they just decided not to. I mean that. See, that's why the. Um, I just, I find it so funny, though, that the the actor who played Short Round made a huge comeback, and, like, the the people who were writing the, the, the movie completely just glossed over the Short Round character. And also, like, they, I'm not going to tell you what they did, but they could have just recast Shia LaBeouf, because he would have looked much older as Indy's son, but they right. do something completely predictable with the character. Um, yeah, it just... So they don't have to cast him. Uh, yeah, I also yeah. think, uh, like, a lot of this, like, in a, I don't know if I'm allowed to even talk about this, but da, 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 I watched a review da, da, about it today, da, da, da. and they said that basically the movie was very hypocritical of itself. Like, a lot, like, they were saying, like, she was trying to act like Indiana Jones wasn't a very good person and was, like, shaming him for things that he's done in the past, but yet she left him to die several times and all she was worried about was making money off the black market. Yeah, so, she's a, she's actually a thief. So it's kind of like, okay, so you're shaming somebody else for saying they're a bad person, but all you're doing is stealing stuff. So basically, what they tried to do with this Phoebe character is they tried to make a modern version of Marion, and they failed. So, like, Marion was this cool character, but she wasn't, like, up in people's grill. And yeah. she also didn't, like, act like she was better than everybody else. Like, she right. just proved that she was better than everybody else. Right. That's the thing that these female characters don't get is, like, they, they try so hard to prove that they're better than their male, male counterparts, whereas... Um, you know, Marion didn't have to. Marion was already a tough girl, and she didn't have to, like, oversell it. That's that's the problem with, like, characters like Rey and Phoebe and whatever, is they're just... They try so hard when, if they actually had good writers, they could just easily do it. But they always have to just, like, you know... It's so annoying, and it's, it's just, ugh. But I, I think what people are going to realize about the indie movie is that Shia LaBeouf is not going to go down in history as the, the weakest Indiana Jones character. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, uh, we're stuck Sorry. trying to find the next piece of armor. There's all these little statues down here. Let's keep those likes up, people. We're past Sorry. the 30-minute mark. I'll get the likes up. Sorry. We are past the 30-minute mark. I'm sorry, it's my fault uh, for talking it's, it's about fine. this. It's fine. I'm sorry, guys and gals, I didn't mean it. It's just like, that's why... No, you just went back to talk about it. You just apologized and I then know, you... but that, I'm just, I'm just gonna say, like, that's why the, the, um... What is the cup that they were looking for and the one with Sean Connery? What is it called again? The Holy Grail. Yeah. That's why that works, because there's actual stories of the Holy Grail. That's what I'm saying. Then they should have taken an artifact that there's stories of. Oh, okay. So I'm done. we need to follow the clues of the statues that'll lead us to where the armor is. So this is the wrong way. These statues are leading us the wrong direction. So we need to go uh, this way. Let's try the statues. Say exploring the cave. Exploring cave. 
Exploring cave. Okay, so we're gonna go backwards uh, because it's not here. Always follow the flags. The flags are pointing up, so I probably went the wrong way. I thought that the flags were uh, pointing inside here, but I don't think that's correct. I think that's wrong. So, I'm gonna have to continue exploring the cave till we find the, the armor. Sword of Mars? What's the Sword of Mars? Is that an ancient artifact? It's a. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like. Yeah, like you guys can think of. Yeah, exactly. Like any kind of Egyptian artifact, says Sharon. Yep. I always wanted them to do Atlantis. I, I wanted them to do Atlantis so bad because I love that Atlantis game. Oh well. Oh, thank you, Later Gator. Says it's okay. You can talk about what you want. That's very sweet of you, Later Gator. Mm. Oh, I'm going to get controversial in Fire Emblem. Ike is better than Marth. Roy, Crom, Corn, and Byleth says Droggle. <laughs> shots fired. Fire Emblem shots fired. <laughs> True Droggle says Later Gator. Oh my gosh. All right, we have to go backwards. All right, we're going to backtrack, guys, because this isn't right. My, I'm spending my birthday with the Key Wings. Happy birthday, Richard. Happy birthday, Richard. <sighs> oh my goodness. What? Oh, more statues. Wait, did I just go around in a giant circle? Oh my gosh, I just went around in a giant circle. What? No. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm watching your Lego Indiana Jones streams from 2021, says Blue's Cat. Awesome, oh, Blue's Cat. That's wrong. What did it say again? Uh, it says, The treasure sleeps beyond the path shown by the stone statues. Beyond the path? What does that mean? The treasure lies beyond the path, sleeping near the stone statues. Well, this always points the way, so... Where exactly would it be, then? I mean... Above me? Would it be above? You can try going above. <laughs> you know, may, am I allowed to say one more thing or not? As long as you don't get too into it. I'm not going to get too into it, but when they went to India for the one... They were in India, right? For the second movie, movie for Indiana Jones? Technically, it's the first movie in the continuity, but yeah. They go to India and Temple of Doom. There are so many artifacts and, like, important things in India. Like, there are ancient texts from 6,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. There's so many interesting Indian stories and artifacts. There is, like, a tale of, like, a a princess and, like, a, a prince that, like, built... That had these, like, blue monkeys that built this bridge and everything. Like, there's some really interesting stories from India. The fact that they just used some rocks from India is just... Like, that is such a rich heritage. It's just so weird that they would just use, like, five random rocks. Why like, do you there are so many things they could have used. What? Why do you think they always have Indiana Jones appear in the video games in India? Because he always goes back to India quite a bit in the there, games. I'm just saying there's so many artifacts they could have used in mm -hmm. India. There's yep. so much rich history there, so why would you use these rocks? In fact, you go to Turkey, and you go to parts of India and Staff of Kings, as well as, I believe, uh, the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor game for Indiana Jones. You go to India, you go to parts of India in Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine when you're going up against the Russians. Like They always incorporate uh, past indie locations for him to go get clues. All right, speaking of clues, I have no idea what that sign means. I've been running around down here. And I can't find the treasure. Unless there's another cave. And I'm just in the wrong spot. The only thing I can think of is the... Maybe the flags don't point the way. Maybe it's all bumpkiss. And try going up again. Yeah, they could have done something with... Uh... Some of, like, the Indian, like, deities and stuff, like Shiva and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm like, really, they, there's so much... Uh... The video games used to be canon. They were part of Lucasfilm. The Indiana Jones games were canon. Uh, Emperor's Tomb was uh, written by the uh, Lucas people who connected it to before Temple of Doom. In fact, 
Indiana Jones in the Emperor's Tomb takes place like a few months before the Temple of Doom. And then it ties right into the beginning of that movie. Like, uh, Indy is at that same bar where the, um, assist, his friend gets killed. And then Short Round is his driver. All that stuff is, was canon. Uh, just like a lot of the Indiana Jones books from when I was a kid were all canon. But, you know, Kathleen Kennedy was like, she only kept, uh, what is it? She kept, um, Raiders, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, Crystal Skull, and then Dial of Destiny are the only Indiana Jones canon. Like, none of the books, none of the video games. Maybe the new video game will be canon, but I don't know. Would Asian artifacts work for Nina Jones? Of course, later Gator. Totally. Like, I think any country, any historical artifact from any country, any place in the whole world, as long as there's a real story written about it, you know, as long as there's a story written about it somewhere in the world, and I think you could use it. Tuck, gone it. Where is this? This is really getting frustrating. I found this before. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. This is super annoying. All right, I we're mean, gonna have to back our back back. I mean, discovering something about Atlantis would be really interesting because mm -hmm. that would be something new that Indiana Jones was discovering that nobody else had really discovered before. Mm -hmm. And then that would give you the kind of sense of some of the other movies where he was finding an artifact no one had ever found. That would be really interesting, actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize that this was going to be... I'm just totally lost. The, usually the flags point you in the right direction. That's what they do. That's the job of the flags. The job of the flags is to show you where you're going. Just leave Disney to suck the life and heart and soul out of every franchise they've ever bought. Mm -hmm. And then destroy it and then crush it under their feet. That's basically what they do. More or less. What? How did... Mm. Sorry. No, it's fine. Just thinking. Wow. I'm trying to like the video, but it keeps jamming up on me. I'm not even able to give the video a like. It's weird. Is there another way to climb up? It's supposed to be... Unless this is... I mean, I didn't break this, but I don't think that's going to do anything. Uh, Was this correct? Alright, it's saying... You know, it's because all those, like, blasted rocks all look the same. look for statues that look like they're sleeping to struggle. No, nah, I found it now. I'm on the right path again. Like, I, I just got turned around because of, um... Basically, the caves loop around. This is This is the right path. I'm in, I'm in the right Any place. artifacts in Europe? Well, you could use an artifact from the Trojan War. That would be interesting. Or Mount Olympus with the the Greeks or something would be interesting. Uh, something about Spartan. You could use a Spartan artifact or something like that. Any kind of tale that, you know, is important from that time. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it could be from anywhere in the world. Like, okay. it's really not that... It wouldn't be that hard. It would just take somebody with half a brain to write a good... So, in about uh, 15 oh, okay. minutes, I'm going to need you to go upstairs and grab the Nintendo Switch. And then we should be able to use it to uh, download Britney's game and you can bring it back upstairs so it'll charge. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Ba-boom! Okay. Now we're going to play. Let's go, fool. Why am I not doing my spinny spin? Spinny spin spin! Spinny spin spin! No! Oh, that left a mark. Uh oh. Ah! Okay, you know what? We need to stop wearing the armor of the wild because it is weak! It can't take the hits. So, while you can wear whatever you want, you have to make sure that you upgrade it. Because if you don't, you're going to pay. Do I have any uh, armor food I can eat? Some yummy... Yes. 
attack up. Let's go! Uh, and then I'm gonna eat some raw food, because Amber loves raw meat. You know what I would do if I was trying to find some, a topic to do an Indiana Jones movie? I would play the game Mario is Missing, and I would pick a random historical place from that game. I would just do Atlantis. Because they talk about, I mean, there's literally... There's so many possibilities. Everybody's wanted them to do an adaptation of Indiana Jones, uh, Atlantis thing, and they never did. They did Crystal Skull instead. Especially, like, mm. I don't know, I would love for them to do an entire movie with de-aged Indiana mm. Jones, but... Yeah, exactly. Lisa says the flags do not point the way, they just let you know there's a East Coast treasure in there somewhere, says Lisa. I always thought they pointed the way. Alright. Let's go! Die. Try... I don't know why people are saying we need to upgrade our armor. I... the armor that I was wearing, I needed to upgrade Wh because... Whichever way the group of three statues are facing, that's where you need to go. Yep. Uh, Luke, have you seen Agret Suko? Says mm, Blue's cat. Sounds like an anime. I don't think he has seen that. No, I don't think so. Alright, we should be able to head down now. I'm getting a commercial for weird... Uh, I don't know, I'm just getting weird commercials on my... Oh, this will give us some bow and arrows, though. So. Bow. Or this will give us arrows. Good. Arrows? Yay, I was correct! Gave me one arrow! Woohoo! Yeah, I'm living the dream! One arrow! Fantastic! Oh, that's six arrows. Okay, that's better than nothing. Uh, I don't need well, that. Well, I mean... Well, just in case there's any scary things down there. What is that? Oh, that's fish. Um, Luke, I wa watched your streams of Arkham Knight, and you helped me find so many Riddler trophies. Thank you for that. Oh, seriously? Oh, thank you, Richard. Very uh, sweet. It's a... You're no problem. Oh, hi, Clayton. Hi, Yuritza Rosado. Hi, Richard. Hi, Marco. Hi, Drago. <laughs> hi, Miss Lady. Hi, Luray. <laughs> hi, Sharon. Hi, Captain Zack. Hi, Later Gator. Hi, uh, Katie Anime Girl. Hi, uh, Blue's Cat. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Dolph Quick. Hello, Sundap. Hi, Nintendo Lo Lover Girl. Hi, Sharon. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. Wait, is this the last armor? This might be the last armor. Okay, now. Uh, we're in a tomb area. Right. Oh, you know what would be a great thing mm. that they could do? I I personally would do it, but I don't know if anyone. The sword in the stone, because there's actually a chapel. Um, somewhere that actually has a sword stuck in a stone, and there's a legend about a knight that put it there. Like, there's a yeah, real. You could have done a movie about Excalibur. Mm hmm. That would be interesting. I think that would be a movie I would watch. Okay, now I don't know what else to do. I came down here, and there's these three graves, but I can't interact with the graves. What happens when people pet cougars? Uh... I would guess they would die. You end up like Luke Skywalker, missing an arm. Oh no, that would be Anakin, sorry. <laughs> it doesn't... Yeah, I don't know, Clayton. I, I think that they would be in not a good... Uh, not a good... Not a good situation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Thank you. Well. <coughs> Agretsuko is kind of <coughs> coarse at time, but the anime is cute. Okay, thank you, Blue's Cat. <coughs> There's a thunderstorm where I live. The lights almost went out. If you don't hear from me, you know why. Oh, wow. Okay, stay safe, uh, Dolph Quick. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ascend, standing in front of the three statues, says Lisa. Ascend? Roger. And you're standing in front of them. There we go. 
Does Link ever talk? So it's misleading. Mm, no. In the 80s anime. Uh, 80s cartoon. Hooray! We found it! I personally think if there was a movie made with Link, I think he would just hardly ever talk. Maybe he'd talk once in a while, but it would be hardly at all, so he might as well not talk. You think he would hardly talk? I just think he would just... I think he's just a strong silent type. Mm. Alright, so anyway, we found the treasure. <laughs> Sorry that took a while, guys. Got a little confusing. Here we go! This is the Barbarian Helmet! Yay! A helmet once mm -hmm. worn by warriors of an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region. Wearing it draws out your inner animal, increasing your strength and battle prowess. There you go. Mm. So that is the barbarian helmet. Thoughts on the new Twitter rules, says Flamin' Hot. No I didn't, idea. I didn't realize there were new Twitter rules. As long as we don't get banned again. Because that really impacted our, our channel. Uh, barbarian helm. All right, that's done. Now, the last part of the barbarian armor. What happens when you pet a tiger viciously? Uh, or viscously, says uh, Clayton. Probably not a good thing. Probably not something you want to experiment with. Like, at yeah, all. I wish I could pet a tiger in real life. They look so nice to pet. Amber wishes she could pet that's a tiger. That's the problem, is they have, they're so soft... And they have beautiful fur, and I want to touch them. Mm hmm But I know that every rose has its thorn. And by rose, you mean tigers. Okay, so did I already put in my time code? I think I already put in my time code. Uh, yep, I already did that. Okay, so I need to go back to my map. Do 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 do. Oh, that's right. Uh, next up, we have to leave. And go someplace yeah. chill. The only thing I'm frustrated about the new Twitter is that there's so many AI running it. Mm. <laughs> that it's like, if you try to talk to a person, it's hard. But, I mean, okay. eventually we were able to talk to a person, but it was just difficult to get there. You were able to talk to a person. I was not able to talk to a person. Have I heard about the legend where... Arthur became the king of England after pulling the sword from the stone. Yes, I have, Sharon. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fun fact, Excalibur was given by the Lady of the Lake. Caliburn was in the stone, says Drago. Oh, interesting, Drago. Leave it to Drago. Drago says, unless you've tamed it, I wouldn't try it, says Drago. Yep. Can you ride a great white shark like a cowboy would, says Clayton. Mm. Um, I don't know. I think that would. I think it would be impossible to tame a great white shark. That's a good, bad idea. I think that'd be a very bad idea. Very well, dangerous idea. They just had. Well, maybe I shouldn't talk about it, but they recently had news, like in Italy, that like killer whales were attacking fishing boats randomly for no reason. Maybe they were hungry. They couldn't explain why. It was very scary, actually. Fishermen didn't want to go out on the water anymore. Mm. I would be afraid. You'd be afraid. King Arthur is one of my favorite books. Awesome, Richard. In the Legend of Zelda movie, they should have made Link talk, but he should only talk a little bit here and there, says Sharon. Yeah, I agree. There is no Legend of Zelda movie yet. Yeah, we're making it up. Sharon and I are writing it right now. N Nintendo will probably do it. I hope uh, it's about Breath of the Wild, I, personally. I agree. I think that Link should talk once in a great while, but hardly ever. There are very few Zelda stories that would make great adaptations um, for film. And I think Breath of the Wild is is the perfect kind of like fairy tale um, live-action trilogy. Because very few Zelda stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end that just like works so well for like a cinematic thing. Especially with the relationship of Link and Zelda, you have that romantic tension uh, that is very apparent in both Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, and Skyward Sword. Because the other Zelda games, if Link does end up with Zelda in some of those other games, the romantic tension can only be found like through the manga. And even then, it's like, you know the end result that that Link didn't even end up with her, like Ocarina of Time Link. There's a lot of romantic tension between the two in the manga, same thing with the A Link to the Past manga, but in the game, 
there's next to no, you know, chemistry. I'm just kind of like, Link, do this, you know. Your your queen or your princess demands blah blah blah. And Link just yeah. yeah. In the manga, they fl uh, they fleshed it out a lot more. And it's interesting to read, but yeah. all right. So anyway, we're going here. This is the last location, probably. I have the um, Ocarina of Time manga, and I have the Link to the Past manga. The problem with the Link to the Past manga that I have is it's all in Japanese. The Ocarina of Time one is in English. So, because it was released in America much later on. Mm. Okay, we're in the Walnut Cave. Clayton says... Whoa! What? Didn't you just see the electricity? No. <sighs> I don't know why you always see stuff. I don't see it. I literally saw the flashing light, honey. I understand, look, I just... Wall... Nut cave. I'm very oblivious. Okay, um, the switch upstairs is ready. I'm pretty sure it's been an... It's been 56 minutes, so you can go grab that and we'll download Brittany's game. Okay. Okie doke. No. You can barely make it through this one. Hmm. Attack! Oh wait, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What happens if I have my attack bonus while I have my barbarian armor on? I look weird. Alright, let's do it! Ah! Uh oh. That's a problem! That's a problem! Do I have anything good to use? Oh no. Well, I've got this thing. No! 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 It broke! Ah! Oh gosh. We're doomed. We're doomed. Whoa. Go to the, uh... Go go to the Nintendo eShop. Oh my gosh, why? I'm gonna die. Ah! Why is it saying Fortnite is downloading? Cancel that. Dude, seriously, you're still not dead? Oh, it's up. It's not allowing me to cancel. You have to go into the cancel download option and we'll never be able to do Britney's game. There's a way to cancel it. I don't know what the cancel download option is. Okay, give it to me. You're playing a game. I, you said I'm supposed to... Why don't I start downloading? You can't download two things at once. I have before. Mm-mm. The Switch doesn't work that way. The Switch will allow you to buy the game, but it won't start installing it until the other download is done. Right, why don't I search for the game first? And we'll try to buy it, and then we'll do the best we can. You're in the middle of something right now. Otherwise... Yeah, in the middle of something. Spyro Tr Reignited Trilogy. I think that's, that's it. That's the only thing that comes up. Okay. <laughs> uh, the original roast master is back. He's on the go. Same sick burns and smoldering actions. This is now scaled in stunning HD. <sighs> Your new YouTube app says 104 likes. You're not seeing 124. Oh. Well. We'll uh, just have to refresh it. Yes! Oh no! Who said that? Clayton. Oh. All right, Luke. Oh, uh, stupid club thing. Okay, Luke, I'm buying the game. Good. No, we're gonna try to. You said you can try to cancel. Once I buy it, then you go ahead and you you try to cancel the other thing. How long does it say left to install on your Fortnite thing? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so we're probably gonna have to uninstall the game. You haven't used Fortnite in a while anyway. I'm not trying to use it. I don't I don't care about anything. I don't it doesn't matter to me. I uh -oh. don't know how to handle I don't know what you want. Whoop. I pers here you go. Here's Fortnite and there's Spyro. It's not so I think you're gonna have to if you want I can uninstall Fortnite. I already won't allow me to do that. Software update. Okay. Of Hopefully I can get all my stuff back on Of course you can. Oh wow, that can't be right. Is it possible to kiss a crocodile? I'm sure they wouldn't mind, says Clayton. Um, I think they wouldn't mind eating me if I tried to lean in for a kiss. You're gonna have to plug that in upstairs. Because it's not gonna have enough battery to do it. Well, maybe I should probably, uh, some other things for our No, it has nothing to do with that. It's, it's installing fun. You always go too extreme. Because you only needed to erase the one game that was trying to update. Alright, so we're exploring this cave. We're looking for the thing. Whoop. Bye bye. Now, uh, follow the flags. Did I write down the name of this cave in my time codes? I did. Call it the Walnut Cave. Oh my gosh, there it is. Wait. Uh, did I already get this? I did? When? I already completed it? When? Oh my gosh, I did! Huh! Well, that's where you get the barbarian legs. I must, I must have already gotten it. I don't even remember doing that. Huh. 103... 107... Bar... Barian legs. I don't even remember doing that though. But there you go. That's the completed barbarian set. Uh, this location here is where the barbarian legs were. See, this is a problem with free roaming. Is sometimes you actually end up picking up stuff in other streams that you completely forget about. I mean, we've done almost a hundred streams of this game, so chances are I picked it up. It's in the Walnut Mountain. Hello. And uh, you can find it here near the sea. Ow. And hot to know. Don't bite me. I'm just trying to give you a hug. It was like a hug with your teeth, though. It wasn't with my teeth. Talking about aliens and all this stuff, and now you're trying to probe me with teeth or something. I was, trying to, I was trying to give you a hug. Yeah, that's not how humans hug. You don't bite people. You've been hanging out with Zelda too much. I don't even know where Zelda is. Oh, I know where Zelda is. She's inside of her uh, cat carrier. Once you brought that cat carrier up, she's lived in there now. Which is weird, because that cat carrier symbolizes going to the vet. you think that she would avoid it like the plague, but nope. She's been sleeping in it. Mm, vampires is later, Gator. It's official, guys. Three million copies have sold for Final Fantasy 16 so far. That's not very many. Link is a barbarian, probably later gator. There's a doorway behind the Link. Uh, behind a like like. A doorway? What's left to find in this cave? What if a lion came into your house? I mean, an actual jacked African lion looking for a fight, says Clayton. I would probably lock the line in my house, yeah, no. and I would call 911 and animal control, and I would stay outside my house and let the professionals handle it. 
And the lion can destroy my house, and then I'll use the insurance that I have for our home insurance, and hopefully they'll repair most of our stuff, or replace it. And hopefully the lion doesn't do too much damage. Or I could try to trap it in the basement. But lions are so soft. What about a hug? Although it would probably break down the door. That's the terrifying thing, is it would probably easily break down the doors. Flash review when? When I get a chance to edit it. I've been working so hard on this channel, I haven't had time to really do anything. Mm. But they could go through the window, you know, this is blatant. Yeah. Oh, that's terrifying. I didn't even want... Well, I mean, the window would probably hurt it, though. It had glass shards in it. Probably wouldn't be the smartest thing it could do, but again, it's a lion, so... I would love to see a lion up close. Mm. But that would probably be the last thing I'd see. Probably be the last thing you ever see. Yep. Yeah, I would expect the sales to be bigger uh, for Final Fantasy 16, actually. You've what? seen a lion open a car door on YouTube? Wow. Terrifying. Clayton. That is terrifying. They can break the door down and... And leave your house if you try to trap it. Oh, wow, later, Gator. Lions are pretty, pretty terrifying, honestly. And I'm not lying about that. Okay, so they're not telling us the exact number of... Oh, wait, okay, here we go. Um, as of... Tears of the Kingdom sells over 10 million worldwide in the first three days, becoming the fastest-selling game in the Zelda franchise. I don't know how much it sold in June, but by May 22nd, it had sold 10 million copies worldwide in its first three days. Uh, they're still tracking it, but there's no new information to share. So since the release of Final Fantasy 16, which came out around June, I want to say, uh, I don't remember. I think it was June 14th. June 14th is when we lost like... A decent amount of subscribers. We lost like 100 subscribers on June 14th. Um, or no, not 100. We lost about 30. Something like that. Yeah, 35. Um, so since, we'll say, the middle of June, the Final Fantasy 16 has only sold, in the entire month of June, about um, 3 million worldwide. And Zelda, in three days, in May, sold... 10 million worldwide in three days. But Nintendo has not updated the numbers yet. That I can see. This is on Nintendo's official gaming news website. So we'll probably find out details about Tears of the Kingdom sales. Oh, probably on a Nintendo Direct or something. Arkham Knight only sold 5 million copies. Does that mean Final Fantasy 16 will beat it since it's only been barely a month? Mm. Um, I don't know, Clayton. That's a good question. That's a very good question. So what do we do now, guys? Have you guys ever heard of Mountain Lion Scream? No. no. I have not, Miss Lady. And no, I, that would be terrifying. No, we haven't heard of Mountain Lion. No, thanks. Would you ever pet a unicorn, so Sharon? If they were the kind of unicorns in the um, Shazam movie, no. If they were normal unicorns that were pretty, I would, I would, I would pet one, hopefully. Mm. Mm, I would speculate 20 to 25 million isn't too far off for Tears of the Kingdom, says BJ Williams. They haven't updated it, though. If it already sold 10 million in the first three days, mm, I would say that Maybe it'd be at 20 right now, but Nintendo's not... See, if I sold t uh, 20 million in a month or whatever, I would be boasting about it. I'd be like, hey, I sold 10 million in three days worldwide. Uh, and then at the end of uh, June, we sold another 10 or 15. But the last time Nintendo's reported on the sales of the system, or the sales of the game, was on uh, two weeks ago. And that was just May. They're not talking... And that was just the first three days of May. So that makes me think, oh, okay, maybe it didn't sell anymore. <laughs> maybe it just, like, it sold a little bit. Uh, it sold... It broke a record, you know, 10 million for Zelda. 
in the first, like, weekend or whatever, but then they just didn't report any of the other numbers. And uh, none of the NPD sites that I follow or anything like that has an update to it. So it's going to be a while before we find out. I'm sure there are people tracking it, but I don't have any info on that. It did say that it sold more than um, Resident Evil 4 Remake and Jedi Survivor. Oh, well. But, it, again, it's not telling you the exact numbers. How about you try to build a better boat loop, says later Cater. <laughs> uh, what to do, what to do, maybe blow up a goddess statue, says BJ Williams. We could do that. Do we have any things to do for a goddess statue? Uh, I think we we have all the armors now. I think all the armor's done. Mm, R.I.P. Short round will never be in a movie again. Maybe they should put they should put short round in the new video game. I'm the guy would love to act in a video game. He's a really sweet guy too, the dude to play short round, and it's awesome that he won an Academy Award recently, like for his role in that um, multiverse movie about oh, that lady yeah. who was traveling through time. Yeah, everything all at once or whatever, everything everywhere and all at once. Mm -hmm. Would I let an anaconda sleep in bed with me nice and tight? Uh, I don't think so. I don't trust... I don't trust, uh... After seeing Mowgli, um, like, have that snake squeeze on him in the cartoon, that's all I... I do not... I do not trust snakes. Nope. I don't trust them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What am I planning on doing after I finish Tears of the Kingdom? Like, I'm only gonna... I'll be ending the Tears of the Kingdom series once I get all the shrines done. And once I finish the side quests, I'm not doing the Koroks. There's too many Koroks. I have a question for the chat. What is everyone's favorite thing about Tears of the Kingdom? Anyone have a favorite part of it? Do you guys like hurting the Koroks? Do you guys enjoy... No! Not the statue! Luke, why? Oh, wait, no. I don't want to wear this. I don't, I don't look cool. Mm, in exchange for four lights of no. blessing. No. No, oh, you're looking different there, champion. Got some weird boots on your knees. Are those weird Uggs that teenage girls wear when they're like oh, it's going uh, skiing? Oh my gosh, he actually he looks pretty good like that. It looks like a updated version of um, A Link to the Past a little bit, but no, I'm going to wear the brown pants. There we go. Oh, the brown pants today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm, you have conquered the shrines and claimed the lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will amplify your being. Tell me... What is it that you desire? Heart container. Ah, oh, another heart container, I see. I shall grant you the power that you seek. Shiny. Yes, I was... I made sure to, you know, clean it really... Oh, you've got weird dark spirits coming from you, okay? No, I'm sure it's fine. Ding. There you go. Well, have a nice day. It appears you... Stamina. Ah, oh, stamina. I shall grant you the power that you seek. There you go. It's a little heavy. Watch it. Ah. Oh. oh, red and black flames. Oh, because I have that light thing on me, it's messing with the way that the lighting works. Oops. Mm. Okay. Go and bring peace to the world, hero! Oh, wait! Oh, we can talk about this! No! Ah, worth it. So worth it. Because you, hero. So long! <laughs> Link is evil. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> wow. Why? 
Oh, I'm on fire! Oh, why? Such a right hero! Oh, that was funny. Do 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 do. Is there anyone you're not gonna blow up with a bomb arrow today, Luke? No. Link the murderer. But oh, I yeah. just did find some shrine thingy up there. I'm gonna do that. All right. I asked what people like about Tears of the Kingdom. I'm still learning. Lady Gator says I'm still learning. I'm leaning towards Luke building a better boat. Mm. I saw your latest and funniest videos. And I saw your amazing boat for the first time, says Mario Basketball. Mm -hmm. I now understand why Luke gets bullied over it. Please don't become ever become a boat engineer. Oh my gosh, Mario Basketball. Wow, all right, all right. Loved the game. One of the best releases of this year is Spyrodon. Awesome Spyrodon. Watching the K-Wings play the game is my favorite part, Amber. Thank you, Richard Taylor. You're breathtaking. Hmm. A story was great in Tears of the Kingdom. I love different challenges for the temple. Awesome, Naomi. Very cool. Uh, Mario Basketball says, I like fusing weapons and creating vehicles to see what stupid combinations you can come up with. Awesome, Mario Basketball. Well, Naomi says, Luke, you're just horrible. If you're not terrorizing the Koroks, you're hurting those poor villagers. I agree, Naomi. Luke is, and Link is horrible. He's blowing up villagers left and right. What is to be done? He's a menace! He's a menace! Link the murderer, says Sharon. Link is evil, confirms, says Later Gator. It still floats, though, guys, says BJ Williams. I like this game's building machines. Awesome, uh, Later Gator. Uh, yep. Stop that! What? Oh! Boom! <laughs> Delayed reaction. Best kind! Last animal question. Would you let a gigantic rhinoceros sit at your dinner table eating cake with rhino frosting art on it, says Clayton? Mm. Uh, depends, I guess. Uh, what is Luke planning to play after Tears of the Kingdom? Um, I don't know, Sharon. We'll figure that out. Where is this supposed to go? What? Oh, we need a boat. Link is a monster, says Miss Lady. We need to make a boat. boat I love boat. your old lady voice. Thank you, Lisa. Luke is humming. Is tickling me while you read the comments. Luke... It does not care at all, says Naomi. I know, right? He doesn't care about all the villagers he's blowing up. Luke, you have no concern for the villagers. You just blew that guy up. He shouldn't give you any information at all. Uh -oh. No! What? Do <laughs> Serves you right! This rail car, there's only one like it in the whole world. Oh man, oh man. If I don't fix this quick, I'm gonna get it. Oops. You busted the rail car. This goes here and a bit maybe over here and some Zonai stuff here. Wow, I didn't know you could do that. Whoopsies. I managed to get it working again, but it wasn't easy, so be careful. Yeah, yeah. What would Luke do if there was a boa constrictor wrapped around me and Luke had to save me? I don't. I think he would just find a new wife. It would be too difficult to save me. I. I mean, too one, complicated. Once the bow constrictor is wrapped around me, it's pretty much like, oh, I'm gonna eat my prey now. We're in the end game. <laughs> it's past the point of no return. So long, Amber. <laughs> I guess Luke might surprise me, but wife auditions. Maybe Luke will play Pikmin 4 after this in later game. Mm. You know, spiders are the fiercest predators in the animal kingdom. Proven facts is Clayton. Mm. Terrifying. Yep. 
So we got a boat. Mm. We have to make a boat. I could bring my boat back. No, we're gonna make a new boat. Dang, says Naomi. Oh, mm -hmm. um. oh, I don't think that Luke. I think Luke could. Def I think he would probably defend me against a human being if they came through the door or something. But boa constrictor, I think Luke would be like, uh, I don't get paid enough for this. I, I hate know. snakes. I hate snakes, um. God. Build a boat, build a boat, like this really smart, he is building a boat. Uh, it is a boat. These, these logs aren't even. I think you need to flip that one around so it'll I'm like... trying to flip it around, it doesn't want to flip. They're not, they're not, there you go. They're, no, they're not even there pieces of wood. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yes! It's good enough. Looks terrible. So. Looks bad. Doesn't matter. It matters to me. Doesn't matter to me. I don't even care. Oh, okay. Yep. Can give Zelda their medicine. <laughs> New boat! Well, maybe he'll pay Pikmin next. LOL. I mean, if there's nothing else to cover in July. <laughs> She's inside her cat carrier. Yeah, she lives inside of her cat carrier right now. I don't know, that's what she's doing. I told her it's weird for her to be inside there because that's where uh, you usually just take her to the vet in that thing. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, exactly. That's, see, if I was a cat and I was sleeping in a cat carrier, I would think, wait a second, isn't this transport device used to take me to the vet? Hmm. I mean, I don't really know what games are coming out in July still. I don't even think there's that many games. We've kind of hit a summer drought. And Indiana Jones is going to bomb at the box office, so there's no reason playing another Indiana Jones game. Uh... Three fans works. Oh. I said three! Not Indiana Jones fans. But who is it made for? I don't understand what the demographic is that they're looking for. They were trying to appeal to new people. New people that don't like a good story or characters that make sense? Coincidentally, new people that made fun of the classic Indiana Jones movies. Mm. But they like this one better because they... Because of what? Because they, Indiana Jones is a grumpy old man. <laughs> Who basically has gets a woman slain. Be a better person. But isn't she a thief? Y yeah, that's the weird thing. She's actually technically a bad guy. Like he was an archaeologist. He wasn't like a a scoundrel. Like I can understand if like Harrison Ford was playing if Indiana Jones was like Harrison Ford's um, Star Wars counterpart. Like you know, he was a scoundrel. But. Indy is not a guy who uh, is moral, morally ambiguous. He's a, you know... Yeah, he's actually a professor and he brings artifacts to the museum. Exactly. Yeah, he's not... So that they don't fall into the wrong hands. He's actually a good guy. He also fought the Yahtzees. He fought the Russian. He fought against communism. He did mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff. And the only thing he fights against in the new movie is alcoholism. And he saved all those kids in that one movie. Yep, he saved the kids in uh, the Temple of Doom. Yeah, he was a very moral character. I don't mm. understand 
I don't understand people's problem. Mm, those type of characters can't exist anymore in this day and age. If you bring, if you resurrect a character and you bring them back, then you have to destroy that character to make them quote unquote relatable. Don't ask me why. That's just what they do. Well, that's the thing I don't... Look, this is a new boat. I call this. Uh, it veers a little bit to the left boat, but it works. See? See, I can't build a boat. Look at this. Look at this. We're gonna need a bigger boat. No, this boat's just fine. It's a simple boat. For a simple. It took a little while to build it, but it, I like it. I think it works pretty well. We built this boat. It's like a. It's like a little speed boat. We built this boat. In Hooray! Sleep. I just have to get rid of that eyesore thing. Here, you can go there. New boat! You call the boat a what? Logton? New boat. It's a boat! It's like a speed boat. Oh, we found the shrine I was looking for. Yeah. It will not sink! It's a perfect boat! More or less. Hello, Zelda. Unless there is a shadow game drop, the only notable release would be Pikmin 4, says BJ Williams. Uh. There's a new Double Dragon, but not much buzz up to be had, says BJ Williams. Yeah, July is pretty lackluster this year. Amber, Kathleen Kennedy does not make things for the fans. We saw that with Star Wars, says Richard Taylor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of it, like, who is it made for? Because, like, I mean... <sighs> Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> I just, I just don't understand who it's directed to because it just, just doesn't make any sense. What was the name of the Spyro game? Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Okay. Uh, there he is. He looks nice and happy. Oh, good. Oh, that'll work. Let's go. Is this going to be a blessing shrine or will this be a shrine shrine? Shrine, shrine, blessing, shrine. I hate you, YouTube, for nuking live stream views. It's a blessing shrine. Hooray! Raru blessing. <laughs> what did you say? Raru's blessing. Okay. I wanted to say. Raru. Puppy's blessing. Puppy blessing shrine. Da -da 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 blessing shrine. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna be on the other one. It literally says Spyro. Okay. Yep, we need this. Whitney Luna! Spyro reignited! Nintendo Switch. Uh, whoop! Whoop! Dun 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 dun! Sponsored by Britney Luna. Grit. Luna! One sec, guys. I'm setting up the other stream. I can't believe you, Luke. Amber took my controller. She's not sorry. May the light of blessing grant you the strength that you seek. What is that? Dang. Blasted. It's got all this nonsense. Ambie, don't do that. Sorry, my my feet feel weird. See? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what you're gonna do. 
But don't rock my world, you're going to make me n nauseous. Mm -hmm. Go to Hat No Village for me. Oh wow, this came out in 2018. That was a while ago. Uh, ba -da -da -da. Do, 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 do. I have Final Fantasy stuck in my head. Alright, so I'm shooting for 11.45 for the stream, guys and gals. Brittany Luna. Uh, yep. Yep. I don't care. We do this, do that. Mm. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you. Talk to no village where Link can find his house that's all through everything out. Yep. Oh. Spyro. Spyro! Let's Wait, go. this game is old. It is old. Brittany Luna is the ultimate that selected it. So that's how it works. That's how it works with old games that people select. Yep. Amber's playing an old game tomorrow night around 11. Awesome. Which is going to be Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Fire Emblem Ike. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. It's not Ike. It's a Ike's in it, but he's not. You're playing as another character. Oh yeah, there's Samba de Amigo at the end of August. That's yep, a music that's game. True, BJ Williams. That's a music game though. I have Sonic as a guest. And B. Okay, I'm sorry, Luke. I don't like my world being rocked. It right. makes me nauseous. You thought the Spiral game was new? It came out two years before the pandemic. It's a collection of Spyro games. Remastered or whatever, I don't know. It was on Nintendo Switch. I know. Alright, what's left to do? We could try to find some shrines. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow everything should be starting normally. You know? And uh, Amber's community stream was actually moved to um, some other stuff. But this Zelda stream has really performed badly. <laughs> Um, so, pretty much, guys and gals, I'm just gonna let you know, in order for Breath of the Wild, or, pfft, in order for Tears of the Kingdom to come back tomorrow, it's gonna have to get a thousand views. In about 20 minutes, I'm gonna be ending this stream. I'm gonna get it as close to 700 views as possible, but YouTube has the views frozen, there's no super chats, there's no memberships on this stream. So basically, this stream is kind of like a loss for us. Um, but what you guys can do is if you get this stream to a thousand views um, before tomorrow morning when I get up and I see that it has a thousand views we'll do another episode of Tears of the Kingdom if not I'm gonna probably double up on Ghost Trick and uh, some other stuff because we can't we can't afford to to stream a game that people aren't gonna watch so I'm, I'm gonna need uh, people to watch the stream back and try to get it up to a thousand views so we can take a, uh, you know, get another Zelda episode. At this point, I'm pretty sure we collected all the armors. Um, I can't think. There's one hidden armor that will take a very long time, and maybe that'll be our next stream that we'll do. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, after YouTube took away the views from that one stream, the one where we were at over 1400 and then it dropped it down to 900 um which basically youtube's saying that we're botting live streams but we have no idea how to do that like literally we'd have to pay a company to bot and we don't have the money to do that um so mm, they're basically they're lying about our channel they're they're creating crimes that our channel isn't committing so that they can censor and remove us in a way and by having, we've had several streams over the past three weeks not hit a thousand views while live streaming. And we checked our, our pay 
from YouTube and they did lower our pay because their argument is even though those streams got a thousand views technically, it didn't get a thousand views during the live stream, so they lowered our income. Because we didn't get the live stream revenue, we got the VOD revenue, VOD, which is basically like two dollars. So the live stream revenue is much higher, and VOD uploads are much lower now. So it's very, 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 very bad. If it hadn't been for you guys super chatting, becoming members, becoming ultimates, June would have been a train wreck. Like, not even a train wreck, like a horrific car accident. Like a, a um, mm, pile up. And it's all YouTube's fault, actually, because they made it so... Uh, I was even seeing a friend of mine today streamed for four hours, only got 1,500 views. And they had like 200 plus people watching. So, I mean, YouTube is completely destroying their YouTube gaming platform. Blood Moon! <clears throat> Isn't that illegal to do that? Uh, no. YouTube only has to pay YouTubers if they hit a thousand views. It's in the contract. They're just holding everybody to contract, but they're making it so streams don't get a thousand views so they don't have to pay their creators as much. It's not really technically illegal. It's just, you know, that's what they're, that's what the law is for uh, CPM. Be great if they could lower the CPM cost to 500. Because that's basically what they're giving creators, but they won't do that because they're borrowing a, a method that's been in place for as long as um, ads on websites have existed. Which has been like 30 years, something like that, is how the, the ad system works on, you know, not just YouTube, but places like Google and websites, blogs, whatever those sites are. It's the same method that's been around forever. But, yeah, them interfering with creators being able to get a thousand views a stream is definitely sus. It's got to be illegal, but how are you going to prove it? I literally, I've given Google my stuff, and they've, like, looked at it, and they're like, well, that's weird, but, you know, uh, everything looks normal to us, but it's like, I literally show them the charts and the data and the live streams right now, like, taking pictures, making videos. They don't care. Like, it, it's like explaining uh, that scene... With Captain Kirk, where he's being tortured by the uh, the Romulans, and the guy is trying to get him to admit that there are four lights when he knows there are, you know, or there's he's trying to get him to admit there's three lights when there's four lights, or two lights, because he wants to break him. He wants to prove that you know there's only uh, the lights that I see are the lights that are real, even though Captain Picard in reality sees there are four lights. But he's trying to break him to the point where no matter what the guy says will become reality. So YouTube is doing the same thing in a sense. It's like, you can film what's happening, you can show them in real time, and you give them the data and they're like, oh no, we see that everything is working the way it's supposed to. Because they don't care. Um, it's just what it is. So if it wasn't for people like Brittany and Richard Taylor and all the Ultimates, like the 20 Ultimates, we'd be out of a job, like, pretty quickly. Because YouTube is completely, as of June 4th, they ruined the ad revenue for live streaming. Because they, they fudged the numbers. Nobody knows how they did it, just tons of streamers know they did do it. But whenever we approach them on Twitter or Google or wherever they lie, and they say, oh, no, that, that's not happening. Uh, so, I mean, good luck. You'll never prove it. Or you can prove it. No one will believe you. Or they just are told not to believe you. I don't know. I've heard the same thing from lots of other YouTubers, though. They don't know what's going on. Some of them went back to Twitch. Some of them hardly stream on YouTube. Or when they do, they just do one stream that's four or five hours long. So they get a thousand views. So they get paid. You know, it might actually come to that. We might actually have to just do, like, one four-hour stream a day. Just so we get, like, a thousand views so we get paid. I don't know. Doing multiple streams of different games isn't going to work anymore. Probably. 
But I don't want to do a four-hour stream. That's too much for me at a time. I have to... I have, a uh, like, um, illness with my leg. I have to get up and walk around and get the blood moving. Or I could have, like, a serious medical problem. So I can't sit around for, like, five hours or four hours straight. Gotta get up and move around. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you would watch a four-hour stream, Sharon, but I'm saying I physically can't do it. Like, I, I do stream ten hours a day, but I do get up and I move around and I get the blood circulating in my leg. I get away from the screens for a while and come back. That's how I've always done things. That's, that's my secret to live streaming, like, multiple games a day, is I just, you know, found ways of doing things. Um... But I mean, I'll, I'll tell you right now, uh, we're at an hour and 40 minutes, and we've been stuck at 600 views for about 20 minutes now. Basically what's happening is like every minute, or every five minutes that goes by, my view counter, which is supposed to be happening in real time, by the way, um, it's supposed to be tracking like 10, like 10 to 15 views every minute it's supposed to go up. And what my tracker does is it'll sit on a number and then it will go up by three every 20 minutes. Which is not how real time numbers are supposed to work. Especially for a video with like 16 minute watch time right now. Why do you keep saying your month is over? I don't really understand what that means. Oh! Oh, I know what you're talking about. I, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. June is over. Yep, it's July 1st, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? My month is over. Are, are you saying my time is a... It's time for me to go off into the sunset? The funny thing is, I've become cranky Indiana Jones. I used to be the cool Indiana Jones, and then YouTube turned me into the cranky old man. Get off my lawn! Um. Aw, oh, thank you, Sneaky. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate that. That's a huge help. Thank you. And now that Sneaky did that, we jumped up close to 700 views. So, yeah, I don't know what their system is. I don't know how to work their system anymore. The reason why we stopped uploads is because no one was watching uploads anymore. So I devised a way of making live streams work. Because I knew about the live stream CPM from three years ago. Or three or four years ago. And I devised, okay, if I stream for this amount of time and I get a thousand views, I make this amount of money. And then I could pretty much stream whatever I wanted. I played Harvest Moon games. I played Gundam games. I'd only have about 80 people watching for like two hours. And that was like, or no, 80 people watching for about an hour and a half three years ago, and that equaled a thousand views easy. And then for a really big series that we streamed, like uh, Spider Man Miles Morales when it first came out, that was like, um, what was it? It was like 250 people watching live. That was 5,000 views after just an hour. Like, that's how quickly live streaming used to work. And then every year after the pandemic, they've basically, I don't even know how you can mess with um, real-time views. It's not supposed to because it's like, it, it's like a clock. You guys know how a clock works, right? Clock is supposed to continually move. Like the, the um, what do you call them? The, the, um, not the, uh, the, the, the hands, not the hands. The seconds, whatever that thing is. There's there's like the, the hands of the clock, and then you've got that other thing that goes around the clock, and it's always, you know, going continuously. Like, you know that 60 seconds always equals a minute. That's just how it is. Somehow, somehow, YouTube has found a way that they're experimenting with making it so that time stops counting. And with time not moving forward, there's no way to count the real-time views of what's happening. Whenever somebody comes into a stream, or when, when somebody on a live stream stays for like... You have 90 people stay for two hours, that would be a successful stream. 
but they freeze time somehow. The clock doesn't move, and when the clock doesn't move, the numbers don't move for the viewer activity. It just frozen, and then randomly, it'll just go up one number, or sometimes three numbers, over the course of 20 minutes. That's insane! Well, you guys are showering me with super chats. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You guys are amazing. Link is stuck on this hill. Where's the little thing Amber always does? Uh, and I won't be talking about this stuff when um, Brittany is around. This is just <laughs> when Amber leaves and I just... I just get frustrated a little bit because... Um, you know, we we were doing really well in the Mario stream. And then just like that, they pulled 400 views. And, you know, they're probably going to write me something and accuse me of botting or something when I don't even know how to do that. The last time I heard somebody who botted, like, they had their channel, like, terminated. And also it costs, like, thousands of dollars to bot your channel. It's not cheap. You pay, like, several hundred dollars a day, almost. And uh, it's for, like... You know, 10, 15,000 views a video or something like that. I don't believe there's a system in place where you can just pay for a thousand views, like a few hundred dollars. Which is still wicked expensive. I would never do that. Because that ends up wrecking your, um, how your channel uh, gets paid. You get, like, a penalty every time you do it. Which is weird. They could literally just go over the data of the channel, like, the, the lifeline, the entire time the channel's existed. Since, you know, its inception, never being a botted channel, and then maybe all this nonsense would stop, but you have morons who work at Google and YouTube. I probably know more about the company than they do, and I've just been a content creator for 15 years, but I've learned the systems. Because I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's my job. <laughs> Maybe I could teach, like, a, a course at Google or something so people could fix things, but I don't live in California, nor would I want to. No offense to California people. Uh, I don't like hot weather. I know there was a shrine here, and now there's no shrine. Uh, but anyway, you guys gave... You bumped it up to over uh, 700 views, so... 701 views! Woo! Yeah, YouTube, living the dream! Uh, anyway, let's read some Super Chats. Uh, so, Sneaky said, Super Chat. Dolph Quick said, Super Chat. And BJ said, I'm saving up something, but I saw I had a few extra dollars, and I want this to do well because I enjoy all the videos you guys do. Even when I complain. See, look at this. <laughs> uh, 703. It got up to 700, and then, like, after five minutes, it says 703. It just how how can you freeze time? Can can we like find a way of doing that in real life so that I can stay this age? I just want to you know freeze a couple couple days just just have time just stop because the greatest enemy of man is time. Time is the enemy. There is no way to defeat time. There's no way to slow time down. Time will always win in the end. So how? Did YouTube find a way to freeze time? I just want to know. That's that's all I want to know. Because if that's true, then they have the secret of defeating time. Yeah. Do you like my complaints? It's the same as yours. Uh, they are Time Lords. Maybe. Maybe they are. I don't know. All right, so let's go over our armors. I think we have everything. Let's let's uh, double check. No, that's not it. All right, we're going to look at our armors and see if uh, everything... So we got the... What is this? The Soldier's Armor? We did that. We got the Snow Quill. We have the Flame Breaker. We've got the Zora. We've got the Desert Vow. We've got uh, the rubber one. We've got the stealth. So the Kakariko. We've got climbing gear. Barbarian. Whatever this is. Radiant. Royal. Froggy. Glide. Uh, depths. Minor? 
Miner's not done. Oh, okay, we could do that. I mean, I already have these pieces, but I can show people where that is in another episode. Uh, we did this one. We did the Mystic. Mystic is done. Miner's not done. Everybody make a mental note of that. Miner is not done. Ember, headdress, done. Ember's done. Charged is done. Frostbite is done. Uh, Yiga's done. Varuda, Vameto, Rudania, uh, Naboris, done. Zonite armor, done. Creepy CC hat, done. Lightning Helm done. This was the best side quest in the game, by the way. Infiltrating the Yiga to get the Lightning Helm. Best, funniest side quest in the game thus far. Uh, sand Boots. I don't remember how we got those, but that's done. Snow Boots, done. Bokoblin Mask. Horriblin. Moblin Mask. Uh, Lizard Mask. Lionel Mask. Champion's Leathers, done. Uh, Midna's Helmet. Oh, we did Midna's already. Oh. Majora's Mask. Tingle Suit complete. Phantom Helmet complete. Ganon done. Sheik done. Dark Link done. Fierce Deity done. Uh, Awakening done. Capital Y. Uh, blah, blah. The Cap done. Whatever. Wind. Whatever this is. What, what is this? Wild done. Tunic of the Hero done. Uh, Ocarina of Time suit complete. Wind, wa uh, pfft, yeah, Wind Waker done. Twilight, overdone. Uh, Skyward Sword done. So what's left? I'm missing some masks, aren't I? I think I'm missing some masks. The Korok mask, okay. Hmm. Hearing Luke mad at YouTube is in a way entertaining. I mean, it's not like I'm going to cuss and throw things. I always try to think th through practically, like, what's going on so I can find a way of strategizing to defeat my enemy, which is my employer. <laughs> I, I found a way three years ago of combating them for three years with live streaming. Live streaming eight hours a day, I found a way of... Maintaining our income after YouTube, like, messed up our uploads three years ago. And now with them wrecking livestream, I don't know what to do. Uh, maybe I could bulk up on shorts, but at the same time, shorts don't pay anything. Um, I'm being completely honest. I have... How many shorts do you think we have on this channel in two years? How many shorts do you think we've made? In less than two years... Oh, no, it's been two years now. July is the first month that we made a YouTube short. So it's been two years now. July of 2021 was the first month that we experimented with YouTube Shorts. Uh, so we have over 730 Shorts, I believe. And all those Shorts, 730, some of them with 50, 60, 30, 15, 10,000... Uh, I think there was one short that has 100000 We make, on all those shorts, $7 a month. Over 700 shorts. Some of them are still being watched continuously. $7 in the month of June for all those shorts. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And they were, I remember, YouTube was making this big deal. They were like, YouTube Shorts is the future. And content creators, you have to enable this feature on your channel or we're going to remove your channel from the YouTube Partner Program because Shorts is the future. And the future is $7. Woo! I'm not going to tell you how much I make on all our other videos, but the Shorts, like, they made this huge deal that it was going to be the future and you were going to make a lot of money. I know a guy... I'm not going to say who he is, but he has uh, 2 million subscribers, and he releases a ton of shorts that go viral, and he makes, like, millions of views off his shorts. Um, his YouTube channel used to make way more than what he makes on his shorts now, but he pulls about $1,000 a month on releasing just, like, 30 shorts or something like that a month. And those shorts get, like, hundreds of thousands of millions of views. Um... 
And then occasionally he live streams over on Twitch still, but mostly his YouTube channel just became a place where he dropped shorts. So in order for the shorts to actually pay out, you would have to get millions of views on shorts. And good luck with that, because that's like trying to get lightning to strike on TikTok or something over on YouTube. Um, but it's really not the future. The future was YouTube gaming, and YouTube gaming just, they kind of fizzled out and they don't even care anymore. Because they're really trying to push the whole YouTube shorts thing. Which, they don't even know if it's going to work or not. They're just, that's the problem I have with this company, is they put all their eggs in one basket. And then all the other stuff that's kind of like a successful part of their company, they just kind of like, eh. Just gonna ignore it. Maybe it'll still work. Are we supposed to do maintenance on this? Nah. We don't need to do maintenance on this. It's fine. We're having some bugs with it now. How are shorts doing? Shorts are performing great. Okay, no problems then. YouTube gaming might be in trouble though. Ah, nobody uses that anymore. They'll just go to Twitch. These are these are the voices I hear in my head for YouTube sometimes, because they're just they're lazy. See, I'm like cranky Indiana Jones now. Uh, I miss the times where you would land in Gerudo and just be arrested for being a dude. Now you can just walk around freely because you're the savior of uh, Gerudo. Alright, so I uh, gabbed enough to basically push this to 750 views. It's the best it's going to get because it's actually been stuck for quite a while. Uh, so, we got another stream that's going to be at 11.45. It is for Brittany Luna. I'm just going to be me playing Spyro. I'm not going to be talking about anything except Spyro related. Uh, the stream is already bought and paid for by Brittany, so I'm going to let her enjoy her stream. I'm not going to, you know, annoy people with my YouTube shenanigans. So, holy crap. Why, Clayton, why? Uh, even though... <laughs> Even though you guys gave amazing super chats, I, I hate to be that mean substitute teacher, but in order for another episode of Tears of the Kingdom to happen, uh, of randomness, like going after minor gear or whatever, I would probably have to be careful about saying that. Mining gear. We'll go with that. Going after mining gear and uh, some stuff in the sky. Um, we need this video to get a thousand views. You guys have until tomorrow. I'm stopping around 760, so I did half the work for you. So, you only have to get 320 views, I think, 25, in order for it to push it into 1,000 views uh, in the next six hours. Good luck with that. If I had to watch this back, I would repeatedly hit my head on the table and be like, Oh, K-Wing became grumpy Indiana Jones. Wham, wham, wham. Um, so, I couldn't do it. Maybe like the first five minutes of the stream I could watch back, but I never watch back my streams. I, I can't anymore. Yeah. Uh, Gerudo. K Wing versus YouTube. Uh, that was a 30. Whoa, holy cow. Let's move back. Get that time code working. Actually, excited about Spyro. Ah. Uh, stream. Over. Definitely tomorrow is Final Fantasy, is Ghost Trick, maybe Tears of the Kingdom. It's a, it's a high probability. We have stopped around 700 views before, and they've managed to get a thousand views. So usually we like to wait until 900, but I'd have to stream for another two, no, hour and 30 minutes almost. Let me read Clayton's stream thing before we go. Hope this helps, Luke. FYI, YouTube... Oh, you said... Bleep, YouTube! What's going on with the Chris McKay Nightwing movie, anyway? Is he mad at Zack Snyder? What's the last thing he said? I haven't heard anything for Chris McKay. The dude, he's on Twitter, but he doesn't talk about anything. No one's heard anything about the Nightwing movie anymore, to the point where I'm depressed now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the only thing... The rumor going around with James Gunn is that he's going to try to include Bat Family people in the uh, Brave and the Bold movie. So if Nightwing shows up, probably be in that. Or if they just have like a Dick Grayson cameo, no idea. Thank you, Clayton. You're breathtaking. Uh, again, you guys, the donators, the members, the super chatters, the ultimates. Uh, you guys are the, uh, the, the, the amazing viewers like you, like PBS. 
Like, we just, we can't fight this corporation. We don't get paid by this corporation as much anymore. So you guys, you keep the lights on, you do everything. I, I don't, I will always be forever eternally grateful, even though Amber hates that saying because of the Toy Story characters. I am eternally grateful to all of you guys. God bless you all. I will see you for a fun stream of Spyro. No old man KOing, just reminiscing with Spyro. Playing Spyro badly because I suck at Spyro. Hope Brittany enjoys that. I'm gonna grab a Hot Pocket and I'll see you guys in a few. God bless, happy gaming. Thank you everybody for the super chats, you're amazing. And um, seriously, bless you all.